What's up guys? I'm Laura from Reading in Bed. Today is Friday, December 22nd, so we're going to reveal the 22nd story in the short story advent calendar. We're also going to talk about yesterday's story, number 21, um, but first, it's Friday, so we're going to do some Friday reads and some Friday Lego, which is a thing, I guess. We've also moved on location in front of our Christmas tree for today. Um, the boys have a pajama and stuffy day at school, so... Oh, wait, wait, wait I want to show what? my... Okay, well, then let's start with you, Ben, for Friday Reads. Why don't you show us what book you're reading? Mark of the Black Plague. Mark of the Plague. So can you tell us a little bit about this book? Um, it's about these people who are trying to invent something to drive the plague away. Right. So we've just started reading this. I think we're on Chapter 3 now. It's a really big book for a kid's book. I showed this uh, when I was showing my whole prize haul. I won this as a, a set of seven books that had won um, awards here in Canada for children's writing. Uh, and yeah, this one is good so far. The, the dialogue the worst, feels a little modern to my ear, but we'll ignore that. This is the only damn movie knows. Okay, Henry, I'm going to show your Lego now. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to move the camera. But here's cause... mine. Oh, oh, you got a Friday read. Tell us about it. Ocean Monsters. Ocean Monsters. And what's special about this book? It comes with an app. And what does the app do? So, the app is spelled I-E-X-P-L-O-R-E. -E. Well, what does it do, though, honey? Yeah. Um, so... When you see this blue icon here, yep, that's that means you can make the monster alive. Right, it's very cool. It's like a um, an augmented reality kind of thing. It's very neat. Well, Henry, can you now tell us a little bit about your Lego setup here? So, um, for some reason, this cop car has three wheels. Uh huh. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, here's what the cop looks like. Prisoner. Can you tell us what the set is? Um, the City Chase. Okay. Yeah, and Lloyd. Ninjago City Chase. And then there's a guy at a stand with cherries, green apples, and fish. Very nice. Okay. So that was one of Ben's uh, birthday presents, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we just built yeah. that yesterday. Uh, now, for my own Friday reads, um, I'm reading Canadianity by Jeremy Taggart and Jonathan Torrens. This is okay. I mean, there's some pretty good anecdotes in it, but I also have some issues with it. Um, I consider DNFing it. I mean, I've got like probably less than 100 pages left, so I'll, I probably will finish it. I don't know. Um, we'll see, but I'll, I may do a scathing Goodreads review about some stuff that's going on in here. Uh, but I mean, it's really, it's just a very light read. Um, I'm also trying to finish up this uh, Sleep, a very short introduction. So this is a series of books. There's like dozens of them. Um, that are, just like they say, short introductions to various topics. So they're kind of an easy way to get into some nonfiction. Though for some reason it's taking me a long time to read. Uh, and so far I've learned that sleep is very complicated. And I should enjoy it now because as, you know, you get farther into middle age and menopause and all that, sleep just doesn't go very well. So um, hopefully over this holiday I'll be getting lots of sleep. And then uh, finally on the e-reader I've started rereading The House of Mirth. Um, as someone pointed out, I think, on Twitter, Goodreads, a very cheery read for the Christmas season. Stole all of this. Oh, yeah? So, getting back to the short story advent calendar, yesterday's story was The First Day of Winter by Rebecca Rosenblum, who is the uh, author of So Much Love. And Hi. this was a very Christmas-themed story, so I know that's making some of the calendar readers happy who were really waiting for those holiday-themed stories. It's about a single dad and his 11-year-old daughter who are out for lunch, and the dad's kind of flirting with the waiter, and um, the daughter's just, you know, so over it. Um, and I, I think uh, Desmond Reed, who's reviewing da, 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 all the stories da, 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 on Twitter, said da, da, it best. Da, 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 he said uh, this was just a, a small snapshot that told us a lot about this father and daughter relationship, and I agree. 
I really like this story. So with that, let's get on to the reveal of day 22. Ooh, I can tell this is a longer one. It's a bit thick. What do you think, guys? I think there's going to be I think, candy. I think the rig pop is great. <laughs> you think the rig pop is great? This is called The Christmas Banquet by Nathaniel <gasps> I Hawthorne. Think, I think there's going to be presents. Popcorn? Not popcorn, Hawthorne. <laughs> So I think we've got our first dead author here. Um, Nathaniel Hawthorne was the author of The Scarlet Letter. Uh, he died in 1864. So, you know, there's probably not going to be an interview on the short story advent calendar site today. Uh, but I have been looking forward to a classic short story. There's always at least one in each calendar. Oh, we're losing our lights. <laughs> okay, well, we better wrap it up. Now you can get a better view of the tree, though. <laughs> so thanks for watching, and we'll be back tomorrow. This is our last of the early, early morning videos. We've just got two more days of these videos to go. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.